Okay, now this topic is one that's kind of hard to make a video about. Um, I went from about $40,000 down to $14 in a matter of just under two weeks. So on March 17th, I had almost reached $40,000. I think I was about $39,000 at the highest, maybe thirty-eight. I was in a really good place. I had $30,000 that wasn't invested in anything just so that I didn't have any giant losses, which obviously didn't work out, and I'll tell you why. But uh, I was only investing about $5,000, and I figured that was a good plan. But I had been day trading because right when I hit $25,000, I had started day trading, and I was being actually pretty profitable on almost every trade I made where if there was news I would buy in and sell ride that spike maybe for 30 seconds or less and I was consistently doing well but I wanted to get into Blue Apron for the probably second or third time and I ended up buying right at the peak now I watched it go down a little bit and instead of selling like I should have I wrote it down and I think I had invested about uh, 20 something thousand dollars and I wrote it down uh, to where I lost about eight thousand dollars and I sold out I ended up selling out right at the bottom and it went back up to my purchase price if not higher I could have avoided this with a few different things either cutting my losses earlier um, I technically could have stayed in it longer but I'm still kind of glad I cut my losses where I did. I did lose $8,000, which is ridiculous. I hope I learned my lesson and I won't do it again. I'm going to be very careful with day trading when I get day trading privileges back. But obviously right now I kind of <laughs> lost those privileges by losing so much money. And this, that bad trade didn't break me, but it started a decline because it gave me the mindset of I need to win this money back so instead of having all my money put aside I decided to invest in puts for everything and at this time I was buying naked puts um, just because I thought the market was still gonna tank and that was pretty much at the peak of the volatility so the next day volatility went down all my premiums went down and I started losing money and I did this all the way to about $20,000. And at about $20,000, I was like, okay, I'm being stupid. I need a new strategy. And I pretty much got rid of all my positions except for some that I had lost so much in the premium it wasn't worth selling out of. I decided my new strategy would be selling covered calls, which I already liked. And I would buy the stocks that I wanted to hold because uh, all the stock prices were on sale. It's near a bottom and also selling some credit spreads so the next day everything went down or at least everything moved against me and I lost four thousand dollars for that day which took me to about sixteen thousand dollars the next couple days moved down as well and I lost you know uh, 30 I don't know I lost a lot of money and it was all unrealized gains for the most part well I guess it it was a realized loss because I sold out of everything but it really didn't feel too good I ended up really stopping spending the hours trading that I was just because I really didn't want to look at my account but I kept at it and I redid my strategies again and I was able to kind of come out of the hole and now my account's going back up so I don't know it really doesn't feel good to talk about all these losses this isn't you know Wall Street bets where it's great to show off your losses even though I was still up almost three times my original investment at fourteen fifteen thousand dollars I it just didn't feel good. When I was at $40,000, I had gone out, I bought a brand new camera to film on, I was buying stuff to remodel my house, I was pretty much spending money that I didn't necessarily have yet, 
which isn't a bright thing to do. So I'm hoping through all of this, I learned a lesson and I'm not gonna repeat it. And another reason why I'm recording this so that I hold myself accountable to it and I have something to learn off because it's not gonna be great coming back making another video and saying, hey everybody, I did it again, I blew up my account. So I was actually running about four accounts at the same time. I had my Robin Hood that I'm showing you. I had another Robin Hood that started with about $250. That went down to about $70 at the start of all this. And I was able to give some suggestions to be able to raise that to almost seven, $800. Um, and now I think it's at maybe $500, which is still pretty crazy to go from $70 to 500 in just a couple months. I also had a $1,000 TD Ameritrade account that I had taken up to almost $2,000 before taking a very big hit on that uh, back under 1000 But I was able to use that and get it up to about 2700 at the high. And now I think it's at about 1800 again. I had a second TD Ameritrade account that I had started right around you know, the time the market was going crazy. I put $1,000 in. And I was able to get that up to almost $2,000. Now it's sitting around $1,400 or so. And right when I started losing a whole bunch of money on my Robinhood accounts, I started ignoring these accounts so the values went back down. But now that everything's kind of relaxed a little bit, I'm going to try and spend a little bit more time managing these so they're not neglected and just losing money in positions that I no longer want to be in. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it was helpful at all, please leave a like or subscribe. And yeah, I got to talk about my new strategies and how I'm trying to play it a little safer with the market. And hopefully, you know, I'm going in the right direction, but we'll see. And yeah, if you guys want to see any specific types of videos, like if you'd want to see a small account challenge or more in depth of what trades I'm making or strategies I'm using, definitely leave a comment below because it would really help me uh, figure out what kind of videos I should make. See you next time.